Hi, my name is Duncan Card. I'm a technology law partner at Appleby, a leading offshore law firm with offices around the world. I'm based in Appleby's Bermuda office, where I lead our privacy law practice. I've been asked by the Assembly to share my views as to why human resource departments are an essential resource to assist organizations to comply with privacy and data protection law. Long before the GDPR was a twinkle in the eye of the European Union, HR professionals already amassed many decades of experience handling and protecting some very private and confidential employee information. For example, UC Berkeley reported earlier this year that the electronic monitoring of employee activity began about 40 years ago. When that practice began, HR professionals were there on the front line sorting out the necessary disclosures, dealing with employee complaints, drafting related contractual consents, and writing the policies for the secure retention of those records. It wasn't long after electronic surveillance began that labor legislation, common law developments, and collective agreements evolved to impose some highly restrictive policy and practice obligations on organizations who use those methods to monitor employees. When those restrictions arrived, it was again the HR department who translated those onerous restrictions into workplace corporate policies and acceptable practices. At the same time, and again long before formal privacy law existed, HR professionals were charged with balancing the rights and interests of employees and organizations when it came to collecting highly sensitive personal information, such as income and benefits, insurance-related health information, banking information, the facts associated with harassment complaints, the results of security clearances, and even employee drug testing. In the face of such confidential information decades ago, HR professionals were at the forefront, developing and implementing and managing many of the very types of restrictive use policies and measures that most privacy laws now require. Sometimes those vanguard policies were written by HR as a matter of existing corporate culture. And sometimes they were written to foster positive employee relations. And sometimes they were written on the advice of legal counsel. For all of those reasons, HR professionals developed experience and expertise to craft highly restrictive policies of limited access and use, secure file retention, and to put it simply, to nurture a workplace privacy culture. Today, the culture of privacy pervades HR-rich organizations. It's said that most of the valuable assets of an organization walk out the door every night, whether it's a real door or a virtual door. And it's primarily the HR department that is tasked by the organization to do its utmost to encourage the return of those valuable assets the next day. Embracing that mandate HR professionals have worked very hard over decades to win the trust of those valuable assets. An important and effective strategy to build and maintain employee trust has been HR's unwavering commitment to maintaining the confidentiality of extremely personal employee information, some of it highly sensitive. So as I review the requirements of various privacy laws around the world, including provisions related to what security standards are required, what rights employees have to review their files, or the need for organizations to act reasonably, lawfully, and fairly when protecting the privacy rights of employees. I realize that there isn't much that is new under the privacy and data protection sun that HR professionals haven't already embraced, managed, and integrated into the culture of their organizations. That's why I think human resource departments are any organization's most important partner in the adoption, implementation, and management of privacy law compliance. If your jurisdiction is implementing new or enhanced privacy laws, as Bermuda is now doing, as we prepare for the application of our own Personal Information Protection Act, you want to work closely with your HR department to promote both privacy law compliance as well as to promote the cultural integration of those regulatory requirements 
into the very fabric of your organization. Thank you very much and enjoy the 45th GPA.